This video is brought to you by Ultium 365 via the World Designs Electronics and Octopod, the fastest search engine for electronic parts. In today's episode, you will learn how to make Raspberry Pi Pico W LoRa Gateway using a pair of Raspberry Pi Pico boards, a pair of SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules, a potentiometer, MQ9 gauge sensor, I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD, and UV Dot's IoT platform. If you already know about LoRa transceiver modules, Raspberry Pi Pico or Raspberry Pi Pico WO and UV Dot's IoT platform, then you can continue watching this video. You won't face any issues in building this project. But if you are at a beginner's level, then you should go one step at a time if you want to learn everything quickly. Because if you follow this video without the basic knowledge, you may get frustrated and this is something that you will never want. You don't have to be worried, I have done it for you. You only need to follow the steps which I'm about to explain. As a beginner, the very first thing that you need to start with is the Arduino IDE and Raspberry Pi Pico or Raspberry Pi Pico WO. You should know how to install the Raspberry Pi Pico board in the Arduino IDE using the Board Manager URL link. And you should also know how to install the required libraries. I have, I have a video on this in which I have explained how to install the Raspberry Pi Pico W board in the Arduino IDE and how to use it with the Adafruit IO which is an IoT platform. I have added a link in the description. Number 2. As a beginner, you should also know how to connect your Raspberry Pi Pico W board with different IoT platforms for monitoring different types of sensors and for controlling different types of electrical devices. So far, I have covered Adafruit IO, UV Dots and ThingSpeak with the Raspberry Pi Pico W. As in today's tutorial, I am using the UV Dots IoT platform so you should watch my previous tutorial on the UV Dots and Raspberry Pi Pico W. Number 3. In my previous getting started tutorial on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and LoRa, I practically demonstrated how to send data from a normal Raspberry Pi Pico board to Raspberry Pi Pico W using LoRa SX1278 transceiver modules. So if you are just getting started with the LoRa and Raspberry Pi Pico, it doesn't matter if you are using a pair of normal Raspberry Pi Pico boards or you are using a pair of Raspberry Pi Pico W boards then I highly recommend watch my getting started video because today's video is entirely based on it as I'll be using the same connections and programming. So after watching all the related videos then I'm sure you won't face any issues or maybe you won't need to watch this video because I'm sure you will make it yourself. Anyway here is a prototype model of my Raspberry Pi Pico W LoRa Gateway. I have connected everything as per the circuit diagrams which I will explain in a minute. This is the transmitter side based on the Raspberry Pi Pico along with a potentiometer, MQ9 case sensor, an IRTC supported 16 into 2 LCD and SX1278 LoRa transceiver modules are connected. The Raspberry Pi Pico reads the potentiometer and MQ9 case sensor and display the values on the 16 into 2 LCD and at the same time, the Raspberry Pi Pico also sends the sensor's readings to the remote side receiver using the long range LoRa transceiver module. And this is the receiver side based on the Raspberry Pi Pico WO. It has been connected with the SX1278 LoRa transceiver module. The Raspberry Pi Pico WO takes data from the LoRa and sends the sensor's values to the UV Dot's IoT platform. Now let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Ultium 365 lets you hold the fastest design reviews ever. Share your designs from anywhere and with anyone with a single click. It's easy. Leave a comment taking your teammate and they will instantly receive an email with a link to the design. Anyone you invite can open the design using a web browser. Using the browser interface, you are able to comment, markup, cross probe, inspect and more. Comments are attached directly to the project making them viewable within Ultium Designer as well as through the browser interface. Design, share and manufacture all in the same space with nothing extra to install or configure. Connect to the platform directly from Ultium Designer without changing how you already design electronics. Ultium 365 requires no additional licenses and comes included with your subscription plan. 
Git real-time component insights is you design with Octopart built into Ultium 365. Octopart is the fastest search engine for electronic parts and gives you the most up-to-date part data like specs, data sheets, GATE models, and how much the part costs at different amounts, etc. right in the design environment. So you can focus on your designs. Links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365, and Octopart are given in the description. Right now, the Raspberry Pi Pico W and laptop both are connected with the Wi-Fi. You can see values on the 16 into 2 LCD and also on the gauges. I'm sure by now you might have got an idea of how does this system work. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Sun Founder and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. 3.3 volt and ground pins of the LoRa SX1278 are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico 3.3 volt and ground pins, while the NSS, MISO, SCK, and MOSI pins of the LoRa SX1278 transceiver module are connected with the Raspberry Pi Pico GPIO pins 8, 16, 18, and 19. The potentiometer is connected with the GP26A0 analog pin. Where is the analog output pin of the MQ9 case sensor is connected with the GP27A1 analog pin. The VCC pin of the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD is connected with a VBUS which is the 5 volt pin and obviously the grounds are connected together. The SDA and SCL pins of the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD are connected with the GP0 and GP1. As per the pins layout diagram, GP0 is the SDA and GP1 is the SCL. This is the receiver side circuit diagram. You can see the LoRa SX1278 connection with the Raspberry Pi Pico W remains exactly the same. So that's all about the receiver side circuit diagram. Now let's go ahead and start with the UV Dots IoT platform. Login into your UV Dots account. Go to API credentials. Copy the token. Open the Raspberry Pi Pico W code and paste it next to the token. We need to do this first as we want the Raspberry Pi Pico W part value and case value variables to appear in UV Dots. For this, we will need to upload the program 
make sure your Wi-Fi router or hotspot is on because once the program is uploaded Raspberry Pi Pico W will automatically connect with the Wi-Fi. You can download this entire code from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. The program has been uploaded and now let's go back to UV dots. You can see Raspberry Pi Pico W has been added as a device in UV dots. Now if you click on this device you will see the gaze value and port value variable names along with their corresponding readings. Now you are free to use these variables throughout UV dots. Designing of the dashboard and assigning the variables involves the same steps as explained in my previous video on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and UV dots. There is nothing complicated, just follow the same exact steps. The dashboard is ready and now let's take a look at the programming. This is the transmitter side programming and this is the receiver side programming. As usual before you start the programming first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. Let's first start with the transmitter side programming. 90% of this code is from my previous tutorial based on the Raspberry Pi Pico and LoRa. I made a few changes in this code. I added code for a case sensor while previously I was using only one sensor. This time I'm using two sensors. If you want you can add more sensors. Another change that I made is I shifted the I2C16 into two LCD on the transmitter side. Previously it was on the receiver side. Make sure you save these .h and .cpp files in the same folder with the main programming file. You can download this library from the article available on electronicclinic.com. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the receiver side programming. This is also the same exact program from the previous tutorial. I had to make some changes in order to connect it with the UV Dots IoT platform. For this I copied some code from my other tutorial which was based on the Raspberry Pi Pico W and UV Dots. I have shared a link in the description. So you can see I added the Wi-Fi credentials and token MQTT client name. You can also see I added a second variable for monitoring the case sensor. If you want you can add multiple variables. Everything else remains exactly the same as explained in my video on the Raspberry Pi Pico and UV dots. So that's all for now. Now let's go ahead and watch the Raspberry Pi Pico LoRa gateway in action.
support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode. And thanks for watching.